Hey Ryan, it's Donna. Um, so I promised to do a video response to your video because um, I've had not exactly a similar experience, but the experience of becoming a channel without ever really wanting to be <laughs> and um, without ever seeking that experience exactly. Um, even as I'm saying that, I can hear upstairs going, really, is that true? And it's not because by nature I'm a seeker and I, and I want to know things and I want to understand things and I want to um, serve and, and, and give more. So that kind of drives me to learn new stuff. Um, but out of ego, personal choice, I would never have chosen channeling. <laughs> You're very lucky in having a lot of spiritual friends who um, get it, are excited about it and, and what have you. Uh, most of my friends are like, uh-huh, your subconscious. No, <laughs> I know what my subconscious sounds like. It's not my subconscious. Um, my experience of this, um, fairly similar to you with Abraham, I listened to um, some files I found on the internet of Abraham and I was like, yeah, right, okay, whatever. And I was actually really put off by the different accent that, that came through and I just was like, yeah, okay. Didn't even, as you did, didn't even listen to what it, Abraham was saying and just heard the kind of different quality and didn't like it, so just dismissed it. Um, to my detriment, it has to be said. Um, but then I found as I was coaching, um, I would find myself saying things to clients that I wouldn't say um, and that as a coach, I don't feel that it is my place <laughs> to say some of the things. Um, but I was getting this kind of compulsion to say things. And at first it was very subtle very subtle I would just have this kind of urge to say you know what you're kidding yourself or something like that and I'm as a coach I'm very gentle I'm very kind of you know let's explore that let's notice what's going on here and who are you being in this and and it's all very gentle and and, and this would kind of cut straight through the shit which is actually my personality but I don't tend to do that in coaching because you know I don't <laughs> I don't want to berate people when they're being coached so I want to be nice to them but there'd be this kind of compulsion to go, OK, right, no, stop it, stop. <laughs> and then what I found was um, it came in more when people weren't believing in themselves, when they couldn't see their own magnificence, when they were very, uh, very down on themselves. And, and I'd be kind of saying to them, you know, you're amazing. You've got all this, these talents and gifts and all that. And I would get this kind of um, almost not insistent quality, but... If you've watched any of my videos on my other chan um, YouTube channel, some of them, like the one about life purpose and the one about mirror of your magnificence, they've got a different quality to them. They've got this kind of underlying, almost like underlying power to them. You know, that it's it's a message from, not just from me, it's a message from somewhere else. Um, and that, they were very subtle about it because that kind of kept happening, happening, happening in my coaching just enough so that I knew that it was that something was making me want to say say it, but I could still pretend it was me. <laughs> um, and then it it just became much much more insistent. And um, luckily, almost everyone I work with is really open to um, what I consider craziness. Um, I don't. It, <laughs> hmm, that's not true. I don't consider it craziness. I believe in channeling I believe that people channel I believe Sinai Roman and Esther Hicks and um, Neil Donald Walsh and and all these people I believe that they channeled um, but I am aware that the rest of the world thinks it's absolutely nuts so uh, but luckily I work with people who are who are quite cool about it um, and I just kind of say listen upstairs is saying this <laughs> and it gave me um, a great tool for people who were being um for example, really down on themselves. And I'd say, OK, you know, I'm going to say something now and it is coming from upstairs. It's not just coming from me. And you really need to listen to this message. And it kind of gives more of um, more credence to what I'm saying. So so I then became more um, happy with it. Just still didn't think of it as channeling. Just, you know, it was upstairs was was talking through me and that was fine. And um, then last year I think at the beginning of season one of this challenge I wanted to find out more about channeling um, because I was aware that I was becoming a channel 
and um, I'd read conversations with God and I'd had my own conversations with something, possibly God or goddess or whatever. Um, and I wanted to kind of learn more about it. So I got this book. I've only just finished it and I haven't actually done, I hope you can see that because the light's not brilliant in here. Um, I've only just finished it and I haven't done like a lot of the um, exercises in it that are just about, it's about opening to channel. I recommended it to you last night, but I'm now thinking it might not be the best. I don't know. I'm not sure. Basically, this is about consciously channeling. It sounds like you unconsciously channel. Um, I admire Esther Hicks and you for being able to get out of the way to unconsciously channel. There's no way <laughs> that I would let go of control um, to allow someone to channel through me with me not paying attention. No way on this earth. Um, although, you know, I say that and that fate will go, ha ha ha, yes, you will, maybe in the future. Um, but, but this is about... Um, consciously channeling and kind of how to consciously channel but what I found helpful with it was the stories about people channeling and the difficulties and the fact that you don't really believe you know I don't know if you feel this but um sometimes you think am I really channeling or am I just going mad um <laughs> and and I just find it really useful to kind of come to terms with it and also because I was speaking of it with with my friends who aren't particularly spiritual or you know they're quite um straightforward down to earth people um and and they just kind of humored me <laughs> i think so it was useful for me to have that to have that kind of right okay this is you know this is what to do when you're taking it out into the world and how to do it and and not to compare it with anyone else um they do recommend some um some things they've got like uh audio courses and and channeling skills um courses like recorded live i'm just looking at these here um so if you go if you're interested go to orin o r i n daben d-a-b-e-n dot com and you'll find stuff there about channeling that that might be helpful to you um, i think they're great and uh, one of the things that i think they recommended was just to read um books by other channels and kind of their experiences and what they've found out uh, which is why i want to see this video because i think sometimes it's um not necessarily of any help to have someone else say oh you need to do this and this and this and this and this and this, and this. but it's sometimes of help for someone to say oh yeah <laughs> i've had a similar experience and this is what's happened for me so um i'm kind of i'm still playing with it in coaching when i'm coaching it comes out when it needs to um i don't call on it i, I you know i kind of my intention is to uh work for spirit in that session for that client um, so if they feel there's a message that I need to convey in that, great. If there's not, that's fine. Um, but I'm also working to, to channel more consciously and uh, to use it to help me move forward in my life. So I am coming to terms with it. I, I spent about five months last year thinking, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. Um, but now I'm coming to terms with it and I'm kind of like, you know what, I don't actually have to go out and go, hey, I'm a channel and have everyone look at me like I've got you know, a circus performing on my head. Um, <laughs> but uh, I can do this and I can use this and it is quite useful. And uh, I admire you also for getting a name because every time I ask a name, I can feel my body go, mm, not ready. Um, the entity, which I feel is a they rather than an it or him or her, um, just kind of laughed and said, we don't think you're ready for a name at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> because you've noticed what's happening, your body's just gone, you know, like someone's about to hit me with a lead pipe. So uh, it's it's an interesting experience and I um, would love to talk to you about it because it's a bit of a what the bloody hell's going on here moment for me. So <laughs> I'd be happy to share that with somebody. So uh, I hope that's helpful anyway and, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.